Hello, everybody. Hi, my name is Nico, and I'm a local tourist guide in Lake Bled, Slovenia. I'm a member of Argos Association of uh, Regional Tourist Guides of Slovenia, and uh, since a few weeks now, we already broadcast uh, these short clips uh, to introduce you our country, uh, to invite you to our country. Uh, we do this on Monday on, uh, in English, then uh, on Wednesday in Slovene and on Saturday in some other European or world language that uh, our guides are able to speak. So uh, today, the introduction of Bled, I won't go in, the, in many details, but I will present you Lake Bled just uh, in general. So uh, here you can see, this is the famous Lake Bled. Uh, everybody knows, uh, actually, this is the model of famous Lake Bled. But we have this beauty, this creation of nature, the paradise uh, on earth, as we say, uh, here live in nature. Uh, this is just after a short rain period we had here. Uh, and uh, we are waiting for some sunshine. We will see. Uh, and uh, maybe how Blade Lake was created uh, first for the beginning. Uh, this one. The small one, the model, was forged uh, in bronze, uh, and the big one was created by a big glacier uh, about 14,000 years ago uh, when uh, the glacier spread it from the highest mountain of Slovenia, Triglav. Uh, now it's a little bit shy, hidden in the clouds, uh, and all this territory was covered with ice, and then the climate changed, the ice melted, and the lake showed out. Then, uh, the most attractive pictures of Lake Bled are shot from the other side, uh, above the church, uh, you can see, uh, from the hill of Sojnica. And uh, then you can also see Bled Island. This is the only natural island in Slovenia, and uh, it, it has quite a rich history. The first chapel was built there uh, over... Uh, the, 2,000 years ago, so before Christ, and then uh, also the uh, Christians, when they came here, they also uh, built the first uh, church on the island in 11th century. Uh, and on the other side, uh, which we can see now, uh, but next time when I present the island uh, more in details, then we will also show you the the stairs that are leading to the island and there you will have you will you will see also you will hear the story about uh, about the uh, carrying wife to the island uh, the newlyweds uh, this is the tradition to bring the, the wife to the island then also the tradition of uh, ringing the wishing bell but i must tell you this is not the bell that you can see in this small tower here there's another wishing bell on the island and uh, this bell here oh, actually is a starting bell for rowing regattas you can see some rowers on the lake uh, over the daffodils uh, which are uh, now uh, in full blossom uh, and uh, the rowers uh, have long traditions in lake bled bled also hosted four world championships in rowing and uh, every year we host several international regattas. So uh, a long tradition of rowing, a long tradition also of visiting the island with the rowing boat, because in Bled, that's not allowed uh, to put uh, motor boats on the lake. So uh, rowing uh, is actually the only way to come to the island. And uh, we have some traditional boats, but uh, now, out of the season and to this corona time, they are not present here in, in the lake. Uh, otherwise, a very romantic ride uh, to the island uh, and also a very romantic heart here in Blit Park uh, with this uh, photo spot. Uh, and you can also see the lockers where uh, freshly uh, in love people lock their love, and then they throw the key into the lake. Uh, you can see this uh, kind of things uh, 
everywhere. Uh, also in Ljubljana, on the bridge, uh, many lockers. And uh, I heard that uh, several years ago, one bridge in France collapsed together because of too many lockers. And uh, now maybe a few words about the other biggest attraction uh, in uh, Blit. This is the Blit Castle. Blit Castle was built in the year 1004. Uh, it was first uh, mentioned in 2011, 2004 was the first mention of Lake Bled. And uh, in one of the next broadcasting, I will present you the castle from inside because it has a very, very uh, rich exhibitions. One of them is uh, the printing shop, uh, which shows how the books and documents were printed after Johannes Gutenberg invented printing in the 1450s. And the same way, also, the first Slovenian books were printed in, uh, uh, in, in 1560s. And then uh, also the rich museum. Then uh, you also have a wine cellar. And, of course, you have the best view to the Lake Castle and many other interesting things. Uh, this Blitz Park uh, was actually formed by a Swedish architect. Carl Gustav Svensson, and uh, we also have one memorial on this uh, park. And behind, uh, you can see the nice building, the, the oldest villa in, uh, built in Bled uh, in 1853. And this is a really uh, nice building. Today, this is the municipality. And... Uh, I must say that in the past, all these villas built around Lake Bled, they had free approach to the lake. There, were, there was no road and no walking path, uh, so they all had their private space, and this architect, Carl Gustav Svensson, designed the park around this villa Rittmeier. Uh, and uh, this uh, park is now also uh, used as a kind of... Uh, exhibition place for artists. Uh, we have several statues here. Uh, several years ago, we also had a Forma Viva workshop where the uh, sculptures uh, actually formed their works here in, uh, in the park, and then something also left. This one, for example, was uh, made by Slauko Oblak, uh, who is a local guy, born in Bled, but now for many years living in Germany. Uh, and also further, you will see some wooden and stone sculptures. Uh, Bled is a tourist place, uh, very known for a long time. Uh, already, as we said, the first uh, visitors of Bled were pilgrims visiting the church on the island. And uh, then... Uh, Later on, uh, also people uh, came for health reasons uh, and also uh, just for fun, just to rest. But this was later on, uh, after 1855, when the Swiss guy uh, Arnold Rickley came to Blit, and we will see also a monument to his uh, era and to his honor. And uh, in front of me, underneath of the castle, you can also see the swimming area because Bled Lake is the lake with the longest swimming season in the Alps. You can swim here from uh, beginning of May to end of September. It depends how strong, how long is the winter. And uh, of course, uh, winter uh, sometimes brings us a lot of snow. This winter was quite good with snow. So you can also see a small ski resort on the other side. The hill is named Straza, which means the guardian uh, translated into English. And that's a small ski resort uh, in winter. And in summer, there's a summer bobsledge coming down and the uh, adrenaline park, high rope park at the top. So kind of entertainment area and sports area for uh, our visitors. Then. I hope you can see on the other side some nice buildings, uh, some nice old villas, and the biggest one, uh, just uh, 
over here is uh, so-called Titos Villa. So many important and famous people came to Blit and uh, also president of the former uh, Socialistic Federative Republic of Yugoslavia, Josip Broz Tito, at his summer mansion and before him uh, also the royal family Karadjordjevic, uh, that they were rulers in the uh, kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes and then later renamed to Yugoslavia. Uh, so between the First and Second World War, they also had uh, their summer mansion over there. So there's another stonemate sculpture in front of us, also reminding us on this uh, Forma Viva uh, workshop here. And maybe if we go further into the park, uh, we will also see this uh, memorial to Arnold Rickley. As I said, he was a Swiss guy who started the modern way of tourism in Blade. He made publicity, he invited people to come to Blade because it's very healthy, he said. Uh, uh, he followed somehow the, the knowledge of uh, Knipe, uh, this famous uh, natural healer. And uh, his three doctors that practiced here for free were air, water, and sunshine. We have quite a lot of sunshine here. Fresh air in Slovenia is no problem because we have uh, uh, more than 60% of our territory covered with forest. And, of course, also uh, uh, water. As I said, this is the longest, uh, longest uh, season for swimming. We also organize many events uh, here in Bled, and uh, we also uh, follow the Rickley steps uh, because Rickley uh, also organized uh, some parties for uh, the visitors and he built this kind of pavilion uh, in the park where the musicians played. People were spread around on benches or just uh, taking a blanket and sitting on the grass. So uh, there was all also uh, some entertainment for them. And uh, further on, you can see one of the specialties of Slovenian architecture. Uh, I will tell you a little bit during approaching. And I will also try to follow some... Uh, Follow some comments. Oh, the camera is. Yes, I can put them on the screen. Hope I will be able to, to open the comments. Okay, if there are any questions uh, or any comments that I can't see now on the on the screen, I can't put them on the screen. If there will be any, I will also answer on all these channels. Uh, that are following me, uh, maybe later, just writing to. So, beekeeping uh, has a very, very long tradition in Slovenia, and these uh, constructions, these uh, bee houses, uh, uh, have a special form. And uh, what is also very interesting is uh, I'm frozen. Mm -hmm. So I'm somehow, am I back? Yes, sorry, something happened with the signal. Nico, Nico, everything is fine, just go ahead. Maybe you have some issues with the internet connection, but don't worry. You've yeah, got a lot, a lot I of followers. It. So, Nico, everybody just adores your story. Just keep going. Uh, people are commenting when they visited Bled, what they liked about Bled. You have even visitors from Istanbul. So, just go ahead with your story. Thank you. Oh, good night, good night then to Istanbul. <laughs> I salute the people from Turkey, so I hope you will 
come and uh, see it live. And um, I think uh, I got lost when I started to explain about the behaves and about uh, honey. So these uh, panels of the beehives are painted, uh, and this also has a long tradition in Slovenia. Uh, first, they put uh, religious motives on the uh, beehives on the panels uh, because uh, the signs should protect the bees from disease and from any other uh, problems. And then later on, they also made funny stuff uh, on them. So it's quite traditional and also the form of kind of house uh, where you can go inside and you then uh, serve the behave uh, and the bees from behind from inside and uh, there's a bear of course uh, because uh, you know the bears like uh, honey and now we are going uh, a little bit further back to the lake, uh, so to this uh, main attraction of Bled Lake and the view, uh, natural beauty. Unfortunately, we don't have sunshine here, but uh, otherwise, I must tell you, it's really, really nice. Uh, and uh, we are trying here in Bled uh, to change the mind of our visitors, because many people come here just to see Bled. So to uh, make check, uh, I was here make a few pictures and go further. So we would like to change this mind, mindset uh, to experience black because we have many, many things to offer, also some traditional uh, events, uh, then uh, uh, very good culinary, uh, also cooking class if you want. You can also come to uh, learn how to make uh, some uh, Slovenian dishes, uh, one of the most famous uh, dishes in Bled is uh, cream cake. So uh, maybe uh, once in the future, one Monday, we will also make a workshop of uh, Bled cream cake. Uh, uh, we made it already for this platform in Slovene, but uh, maybe later on also in uh, English. Uh, and now, uh, as we are in Slovenia, I must tell you a few words in Slovene also, because when you will visit uh, Bled and Slovenia, you will say hello and everybody will speak English with you. So people speak many languages. Uh, that's why I will tell you a few words in Slovene. Živena je vsi narodi, ki hrepene dočaka dan, da koder sonce hodi, prepiri sveta bo pregnan. Da rojak, prost bo vsak, ne vrak, ne sosed bo mejak. Those words were written by the biggest Slovenian poet, Francep Rešeren, who was born not far away from here in the small village Verba, and uh, about uh, 150 years, uh, 140 years after his death, this poem was also chosen to be a Slovenian national anthem. So what I told you is, uh, well, is a Slovenian national anthem. And now we go back towards the lake. Uh, here by the lake, we also have Vila, named by the biggest uh, poet uh, Presheren, and in this Vila Presheren, you can eat on the terrace, which is nearest to the lake, even though when you walk on this path around the lake, uh, upper or lower, uh, you will actually never be more than 15 meters away from the lake. So, uh, not like in some other countries, uh, uh, when I visited, I ran uh, sometimes, and I wanted to run by the lake and I ran to 300 meters and then it said private property and I had to go far around and after a kilometer I came back to the lake. Now here you can run around the lake. Uh, the distance is six kilometers and uh, of course uh, if you want to break the record you have to be faster than 17 minutes and 49 seconds. Uh, but uh, I actually say always run for fun, run for your health and not uh, for breaking any records. But these guys on the lake uh, in rowing boats, they practice to beat some records and to be champions in the future. So maybe one of them, I don't know the names exactly who is on the boat, but in a few years we will uh, hear about them or we will see their pictures on the news uh, how they uh, won the medals. 
So this is the touristic center of uh, Lake Bled uh, with uh, the major hotels. The one, the white one on the right hand side is the oldest one. It's named Hotel Toplice. Uh, and uh, all the rest were built later. So we're going back towards the center and uh, maybe just a few words. Uh, what else to visit around Bled? Uh, I definitely recommend the uh, tourist farm Dorank on the other side of the lake where they have a nice presentation of uh, traditional uh, embroidery, of pottery, of uh, uh, also uh, they present more than 150 uh, crepes uh, and then they also uh, have a presentation of Slovenian uh, holidays then I would recommend you to go further to Lake Bohin, uh, which is about 30 kilometers in this direction. Uh, other alpine uh, glacier or, uh, formed lake uh, that's also very nice. Then I would recommend you to go to Vindgar Gorge, which is uh, a nice canyon, a very narrow, one mile or uh, one and a half kilometers long approximately, with uh, the half path through on bridges and another half very narrow, so it's very attractive. And also uh, maybe to do some adrenaline things here in Bled, like we have zip lining, canyoning, kayaking, rafting, uh, uh, whatever you want. Uh, you can go hiking in the mountains, uh, which they are in clouds a little bit. But uh, anyway, I definitely uh, sure that uh, if you come to Bled, you won't be boring and uh, you will be able to spend a few days, not just uh, two hours uh, to make uh, photos, maybe to eat the famous Blitz cream cake and then go further. So uh, this was a short introduction from me. Uh, as I said, my name is Miko. And uh, if you would like to uh, come to Bled or if you would like to do more detailed virtual tour about Lake Bled, you can contact me on this, uh, on this uh, email address, uh, uh, or you can also contact Argos Association of uh, Regional Tourist Guides of Slovenia, and uh, uh, you, will, you will get in contact with me. Uh, then I must say that uh, every Monday, my colleagues from other regions, from other towns, will present uh, their part of Slovenia, and I also, as I said before at the beginning, I will also uh, make some presentations of Bled, but more in detail. Uh, maybe the first one uh, that will be will be the Bled Castle. So follow our channels, uh, follow Argos uh, YouTube, or follow Argos uh, Facebook uh, page, and then, of course, uh, you will uh, hear and you will get informed which region, which guiding is on program. As we said before, on Monday, uh, we do it on, uh, in English. Then uh, Wednesday, we do it in Slovene. And Saturday and Sunday, we do some other languages like German, Italian, Spanish, French. Uh, even we have guides that are speaking Chinese or Portuguese. So uh, if you come to Slovenia and... Uh, uh, you need a guide, you just contact Argos, or you can contact me on this uh, address uh, posted below. Uh, I will try to, to contact Matea. Are there any questions, any specific questions, Matea, if you enter back into the studio? Maybe yes, we can... Nika, Nika, marvelous, marvelous. You won't believe, but you had visitors from all around the globe, from Canada from Australia, from Malta, from Turkey, from Sweden, and of course also from Slovenia. So even like your neighbors, I think, followed you. And there were also some people from Kran. So really you covered all around the globe. I think it's excellent that Tourism Bled joined you in this presentation as well. So we reached even more people. Uh, there are actually no questions, Nico, but just congratulations for this presentation that you organized today. And everybody is looking forward to visiting you very soon. So when this corona crisis is over, uh, 
I will be very busy, I hope. Uh, just uh, come to Slovenia uh, and uh, enjoy whatever we can offer uh, or uh, historical sites or just natural beauty. Uh, and of course, uh, we, do, we may not forget that Slovenia in this year is the capital of uh, culinary in Europe. Uh, so you can try uh, Slovenian dishes, you can try good uh, Slovenian wines and uh, of course, uh, this will all be organized uh, by one of the guides, uh, which is a member of Association of Local Tourist Guides of Slovenia. Uh, and uh, that would be, I think, uh, all. And uh, follow our channels, uh, uh, and uh, uh, then uh, we will see us uh, soon again. Uh, uh, as I said before, me and my wife, we also make cooking classes uh, in uh, uh, Bled Lake, uh, so uh, for the next uh, tour maybe we will just prefer the workshop how to make uh, cream cake, which is very famous here in Bled, and uh, you can't actually say that you were in Bled if you didn't try Bled cream cake, and the first Bled cream cake was made in this park hotel over there. And they made over 15 millions of them. So uh, it's really, really something special. So if you give me one more minute, I will walk a little bit faster to also show you this, uh, this uh, delicious uh, cake. Uh, and to pass again this model, maybe uh, an idea. Would you like to walk around the lake with me? but not properly, not six kilometers like uh, the passes. We just walk, we will just make one round a lake blade. A really quick one. So that was the fastest round a lake blade. <laughs> and just, just, yeah, you know, we have many tourists coming just, as I said, just to visit, to check. They don't have time to uh, walk around the lake. They have time maybe to uh, quick visit to the castle or to the island, and then they go home. So we gave them possibility to walk around the lake over there. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I also work as a sport announcer, uh, so I will uh, try to try to somehow uh, present you the cream cake in sport manner. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to present you the famous not repeatable blit cream cake. And uh, <laughs> as I see this bread cream cake, I get a little bit hungry. So thank you very much for your attention. And uh, goodbye. See you next time when we will broadcast from like that. Thank you, thank you, Nico. And I think you deserved your cream cake, of course, the one that makes your wife is the best one. And we are looking forward for the next presentation. So see you very soon. Enjoy Monday. Okay.